talking about the heat. It really has had its impact. The heat has killed six people across our state so far this year, including one person in Anne Arundel County and another in Baltimore. With these dangerous temperatures, it's important to keep an eye out for signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. WMAR 2 News' Ashley McDowell talked to people about how they're coping. Scorching temperatures across Baltimore City with a code red extreme heat alert extend through Thursday. While the temperatures read in the upper 90s, it feels well over 100. For those who can't avoid the heat due to work, it can be sweltering. Martin Johnson owns the landscaping business Fall Green Lawn Services. He says staying hydrated, taking breaks, and finding shade is key to surviving a day on the job. There's plenty of days where the temperatures reach so hot and you're not working at a property where there's a ton of shade. And you're out at 6 and then by the time it's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and it's time to you know, call it a day. On days like today, the sound of ice pouring into the cooler is nothing short of music to the ears. It's the relief Zion Lutheran Church tries to provide. Serving as a community cooling center Tuesday through Thursday on code red days, they open their doors to anyone needing a cold drink of water and a snack. Located next to City Hall, just follow the signs. We understand from the city that there aren't that many cooling centers here in this particular area. So we know that the community of, of people that are out there on the street that need a place to cool off we figured we're, we're available, we're close by. 11 to 4 is the hottest time of the day. Baltimore City Recreation and Parks says city pools will remain on code red schedules through Thursday. In Baltimore, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.